Hello and welcome to Lighthouse Tarot, where we embrace the light within ourselves and within others. I'm your host, of course, Willow, coming back at you with a new video today. So today I have a special treat. Today I am doing a video on seven signs that you are an Orion star seed. Yes, yeah, seven signs. Okay. Let's go straight into it. I do have some of these characteristics, so I'm gonna put a personal spin on that, share some examples I have. Before we get into the signs, let me just tell you what Orion star seats are. So you know Orion's belt, the stars out there, that is where the galaxy of Orion is. Orion is actually a planet, and on this planet, there was a divine masculine and feminine. So the divine feminine was sacrificing, self-sacrifice for the good of mankind. And the divine masculine was more in his individuality. He was repressing his emotions to look at things logically. Now what happened on Orion was these became extreme, extreme masculine and feminine to the point where it became very negative and controlling. And technology kind of took in control. The Orion star seeds were extremely controlled by the Orion Empire to the point where they were even, get this, they were kind of like taking control of people's astral body after they died. Yeah, it was intense. So with the Orion star seeds, they really, really wanted their freedom. They realized, hey, this is messed up. Let's get out of here. So what they did, because they were under so much control and they couldn't leave, was they found these portals to interdimensional space travel. A few of them jumped into this portal and that's where they came to Earth. So the Orions come here to restore balance, to show the world what happens when masculine and femininity becomes too intense, too toxic, and the negative traits of it, and shows instead the positive aspects of masculinity and femininity, right? But the Orion star seeds always have this memory in the back of their head that they were controlled and they have this trauma from their star seed planet. All right, so let's get into it. Yeah, now that you know the background of Orion star seeds, here's seven signs you might be an Orion star seed. Sign number one, you are a compassionate advocate. You are a compassionate advocate if you're an Orion star seed. You're the type of person that really cares about nature. You really care about the world around you. You're the type of person when you're walking through the park, you see some trash and you instantly pick it up or you go get, you know, a, a bag in order to pick it up so you don't get your hands dirty instead of being someone who says, well, that's not my trash. Why should I pick it up? You care about the earth so deeply and you love the earth and you feel this longing and love towards all the trees, the sky, the grass, insects, everything around you and you want to take care of it. You want to choose eco-friendly bottles and you know stop using waste and whatnot and really take care of the world. So that's sign number one you're an Orion starseed. Sign number two that you are an Orion starseed is you are task oriented. Yeah, the best way I can explain this is Virgo. You know Virgos, right? If you are someone with Virgo in your chart or you have a Virgo friend, they're very attentive to detail and they like to finish their task one by one. Virgo rules lists, so they make a to-do list. They say, I need to do A, B, and C, and they will not jump from A to C. They will start at A, complete A, go to B. Complete B, go to C. You don't like to multitask if you're an Orion. And it actually bothers you if you don't complete one task. So you're gonna, you know, start at one task and not do anything until you finish the first one and then tick off the next one. Sign number three, that you may be an Orion starseed is you are extremely logical. You think things through before you do it. You're cautious, you think about all the outcomes. And this could actually create a strain in your relationships because when someone comes to you with an emotional problem or somebody is emotional, the first thing you do is ask questions because as an Orion starseed, you want to figure out 
the only way you can accept something is if you understand the reason behind it. So you, someone may say, oh my goodness, my boyfriend cheated on me. You as an Orion star seed are gonna be like, okay, well, why did this person do that? How did they grow up? Is there something that was going on before this happened? Is there something inside of you that maybe you continue to attract partners like this? Maybe you have some karma you need to go through or something. And this can cause a strain on relationship because sometimes people just want you to be there for them. They want you to cry with them. They want you to be a shoulder for them to cry on. And as Orion star seeds, you don't understand this <laughs> or it's kind of hard to get into that aspect, right? Okay, so sign number four that you are an Orion star seed is you are extremely, extremely sensitive. You are very sensitive. You're sensitive and you absorb other people's energy. Therefore, you must take a lot of time to go recharge your batteries, to go disappear, to go ground yourself. And this is true in my own life. Even though I'm very extroverted and I love being around people and I love my friends and I love running around and going on adventures, I need time to be alone in order to recenter, reground, soak up my own energy. So if I can every day, I'm gonna go escape into nature, turn my phone off and go relax for a few hours. And even if I can't get to the park, I'm gonna do this in my own home. I'm going to ignore everyone, take a detox, unplug from social media and get back in my own energy so I can fill up my cup. cup. Okay, we're on sign five, I believe. Five, yeah, yeah. Sign five <laughs> that you are an Orion star seed is you are, uh, I lost my train of thought. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Sign number five that you are an Orion star seed. Oh, you are very, very funny. You're hilarious, guys. You are the life of the party. You're very funny and humorous because you're so logical. If somebody is very logical and they rely on their intellect and they're constantly learning, this means that they're incredibly intelligent and they're quick on their feet, which makes you witty, which makes you really good at comebacks. You might have sarcastic humor or dry humor, or you're just really quick on your feet and people love to be around you because you can easily make them laugh. And I'm talking laugh as in belly laugh, contagious laughter, having a great good old time. All right, sign number six that you are an Orion star seed is you are balance you fast you <laughs> you are balanced you balance out your masculine and feminine side very well and if there is any unbalance in your surroundings in the people around you in your life you can become physically ill you can become sick you can be hypoglycemic you could have hypo hyperglycemic you could have an autoimmune disorder and it doesn't have to be that serious but I do say that you could get just physically ill when things are unbalanced around you You could get the flu you could get a sore throat whatnot and I know this is true for myself because when I used to live in North Carolina right I had a good balanced environment physically but Mentally, my parents, when I was younger, there was a lot of doubt in the air. There was a lot of fighting about finances. There was a, a lot of mental things going on. It was very unbalanced. And I kid you not, guys, I got the flu for a, one week. The week after, I got a sore throat. The week after that, I got the flu again. And the week after that, I got some type of virus. I was... It was very unbalanced for me. It was not a good environment. And they used to say, oh, you just have a bad immune system. No, nah, guys, because as soon as I moved out of that house, I started not getting sick as much. And I noticed in my life, whenever I'm around negative partners, whenever I'm around negative friends, whenever I'm around an environment that's very unstable and chaotic, and I don't feel close to my root chakra, I, I will get a sore throat or I will get a cold or a virus. But on the other hand, when I'm around good people, when I'm around positive people, when I'm around people that bring me up, when I'm in my own energy, when I'm out in nature, when I make my surroundings beautiful and balanced, which makes you happy as Orion, I don't seem to ever get sick. I'm healthy every day. I wake up feeling great and energized. So yeah, that's a six sign you're an Orion size star seed. Woo! <laughs> Sign number seven that you are an, are an Orion star seed is you might have some of these physical characteristics. 
you could have light blue eyes or dark blue eyes you could have olive skin a olive complexion a more tan darker complexion and you could have brilliant black hair or you could be a brunette now i do want to stay say with these physical characteristics that we're not limited to this, right? You could look like anything. You could be a redhead, you could have pale skin, you could be African-American, you could be, you know, of Asian descent and still be an Orion starseed because starseeds, we are just like physically, you know, our parent might be of one ethnicity and another parent might be of another ethnicity. That makes a mix. So uh, you're an Orion, you could be a mix of these things, right? So that was seven signs that you are an Orion star C. Do you think you fit any of these signs? Do this, does this resonate with you? Let me know below. And one last thing I wanna say before I go, let's not get caught up with the labels of star seeds i know that it's really fun to research one and then you're like wow oh my god all these characteristics sound like me this is what i'm from this is the planet i'm from dude so cool but when we get stuck in the labels say okay i'm an orion star seed well i'm supposed to be logical and not understand others emotions or feel my own emotions that's not true, right? Say that you have Pisces in your chart. You're very emotional and you can kind of put yourself in a box in this way by resonating with it too, I wouldn't say too much, but kind of putting yourself in a box. You know what I'm saying? So let's not try to get swept up in the labels. Know that most of us are a combination of all these star seeds and our mission here on earth is oneness, is unconditional love, is balance. And the more we can accept everyone as we are star seeds, it doesn't matter what planet you come from, you're a star seed, I'm a star seed, we are here to raise the vibration of the earth and have unconditional love, the faster we can get our mission done, guys. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I'm open for birth chart readings, for coaching, and for tarot readings. Hit up my Etsy shop below. Love you guys. Goodbye.